Hello everyone, man, it's been a minute. Uh, I am coming to you today uh, with a bit of a new setup. I don't know if you can notice uh, this sort of going on, uh, but I did actually get a camera arm. Um, so I should be able to make relatively better looking videos. Who knows, that's not actually a given. Um, also, I did get a microphone, uh, and I would like your opinions on if it sounds better. I don't know if it does. I can't tell. Uh, please let me know. But today, I am coming to you to do a little bit of a swatching video. I have four of my imperfect little swatchy cards made, which is perfect, because I need help deciding my sixth ink for the month of March. And I need a purple, I think. So I have four new-to-me purples here. Uh, samples uh, sent from... These are all happen to be sent to me by uh, Amanda. And I need help deciding which one. So our options, I'm going to swatch them. And then I guess I'll ask for four opinions. Uh, so our options are uh, Ferris Will Presses, uh, Tanzanite Sky... Uh, Diamine Vivaldi. Uh, this is um, Van Diemen's um, something or other vine purple. Taz, Taz, something. It, Tasmania vine purple. I can still read the label. Uh, and then the last option is uh, Tono and Limbs number 11. Uh, the boundary between like and dislike, which has the best name. Um, so we're going to do this. I'm going to try and keep everything in frame because this is just very different and I can barely see it unless I really look up to sort of, <laughs> sort of get going. But anyways, I have my imperfect little swatch cards made from watercolor paper. I have an automatic pen. I have some water. I have a paper towel. I don't have a cat yet, but trust me, she's waiting. This is a lapel mic, which is, in hindsight, a terrible idea for my life, uh, considering my chompy dinosaur animals. But right now, it's all right. So, uh, let's get to swatching. Uh, actually, I have... Nope, nope, nope. I need a pen. This is my box where I keep all of my stuff. A labeling pen so that I can know what I'm doing. Because I will forget immediately. Cat, cat, please stop that. Cat, cat. <laughs> all right. So, let's do this. First one. Uh, let's go with uh, Van Diemen's Tasmania Vine Purple. I can read and remember. All right. So it has been a hot minute since I've recorded a video. How are y'all doing? Hope everyone's good. Hope everyone had a good February, a good February, very nice, let's see, so I was going for sort of like, I was trying to pick colors that I thought were not like too dark of a purple or too light of a purple, I was thinking more of a sort of classic-y sort of thing. Um, I'm going to make a video sort of going over what I'm go planning on inking for for March because I really want to have sort of an organization going. Like I really want to sort of pick six pens and six inks and just use them all, especially because April is promising to be a bananas. 
Whew. This is a pretty, pretty cover. Dark, but not too dark. Let's clean that off. Show it up a little bit. There we go. Got to figure out my new sort of camera setup. Oh, this is nice. It's rich. But not skeevy Jeff Bezos rich. That's a bad joke, y'all. It's been too long since I recorded a video. I need to close this sample. Ramona Firehorse was like, you should get a... Uh, you should go and get like a 50 cent little like thing so that way you can weight it down and put it down and you don't spill it and i was like that's a great idea and that was two months ago she recommended me do that and i didn't so this one is fan demons tasmania purple vine Van Diemen's has a lot going for it. Not not insignificantly because it also reminds me a little bit of Stardew Valley, which is and remains to be just a stellar game. Move stuff around so that way it can. How is this camera angle looking? Is it too close? Too far away? Is it crooked? I can never tell. You're cleaned. You're cleaned. All right. Next up, Diamond Vivaldi. Let us show the meaning of haste. Otherwise, we will be here for approximately four hours. Not unlike. Lord of the Rings. Mm, let's try it. Hopefully we got enough. This is darker than I expected, but granted has been a hot minute since I even looked at what this ink is. I had a couple of other sort of inks in mind, uh, some very, very dark purples, and I'm actually kind of glad I didn't uh, sort of go with that in these mini samples because there would have been too many like really dark purples. This is nice though. Try and get this a little bit south. Let's separate it a little bit. Just a little bit more. All right, that is, yeah, it's darker than I expected. It's nice though. Both of these colors are really sort of, oh, again, it's drying, but you know, what are you gonna do? Let's close this before I make a fool of myself. This one is Diamine. I actually think I ended up with a, a little bit of a nice mix of uh, a little bit of a nice mix of dark and brown purples with this little sample set. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. Just my cat clawing on a scratcher and now chasing each other. 
All right, next up, uh, Ferris Wheel Press. Tanzanite Sky. I also got in, um, uh, Ramona Firehorse sent me a sample of Double Raspberry. Um, but I have been using some Yamabuda recently, and I was thinking maybe I'll go for more purpley purple this time, but I am very excited for Double Raspberry. Tanzanite Sky. Let's do this. Huh. Really? Guess I really did go for dark purples, huh? Oh, I guess you can see sort of. It's lightening up on me. It's very flowy. Or maybe I just got more of it on this pen than the other ones. <laughs> Who knows? I didn't expect like half of these to be as dark as they were. I was like, I should not choose Diamine Monbato's hat because that's very dark. And then I proceeded to pick three other pretty, or at least two other very dark ones. But we'll see how it goes when they dry. Let's see, this is Ferris Wheel Press. Hands a night sky. My swatch is a little bit of a mess, but I keep on sort of debating about getting a like an actual color ring card, and then I'll just redo all my swatches if I do that anyways. Why take responsibility for something today when you can do it tomorrow? Last but not least, Tono and Limbs, number 11. The inked with A plus stain. Just make sure my pen's cleaned out. So how was y'all's February? Was it was it good? Did y'all buy any more like pin stuff? Curious to know if y'all got anything cool. Boundary between like and dislike. I can already tell it's like way less saturated than the other ones, but then again, the other ones were going for a much, much darker sort of thing. Ooh, it's pretty though. All right. All right, so while we let these dry, first I'm gonna go ahead and label. This is Tono 
and limbs number 11 boundary between like and dislike oh man sort of like going kind of blue in spaces oh, this is pretty cool uh, very interesting let's let it dry uh, let's let it dry and then so uh, order of business if I had thought about this I would have written it down um, let's a little bit I would have written it down but I didn't uh, but yes yeah, so first thing um, how is the camera looking if you have any suggestions uh, if I'm doing anything particularly incorrectly I would like to know. Second, definitely would like to hear your opinions about the audio quality. Um, third, third, uh, yeah, just how's it going? Uh, you know, let me know uh, any cool things y'all been doing. Do you have anything sort of like in the mail? That would be cool. Like any cool pin things. Um, I have, let's see, upcoming in March, I have, I'm going to do a currently inked video uh, because I really want to sort of like stick to six pens, six inks, um, and I'm choosing a bunch of new inks to me. Um, uh, I have a couple of sort of new pen day videos going on. Uh, I have a bunch of swatching videos that I want to do uh, because I got uh, everyone has been very very generous and uh, sending you, you've all sent me a lot of like <laughs> 70 I think my count was at 72 um, something uh, ink samples um, that have been sent to me uh, so I want to swatch them and uh, so I will be doing a sort of a series of that. I think smaller videos, uh, maybe not going to do like, I think nine swatches at once. Um, so I have some new pen day stuff. Oh boy. There's an angry cat. Hey cats. Can we chill guys? <laughs> so what you just heard was, uh, one cat wanting the sleepy spot. And the other cat being very angry that she had to give up the sleepy spot. But she did give it up. And now she's going to go drown her woes in some kibble. So, going to do some swatching videos. Going to do some sort of little pen, new pen videos. Um, a certain Sailor States, um, 50 States, uh, Florida ink has come out. And that is definitely on order. So, I will have a whole video just for that. Um, and all right. So the, my thing, my, my swatches have mostly dried. So let's take a look at them and sort of, maybe you can give me your opinion. So Tasmania purple vine, definitely like a little bit, not too dark of a purple sort of, I guess, I don't know. Is that a classic purple you would say? Um, we got Diamond Vivaldi. It's darker, but it's kind of like lavendery, kind of. Uh, a little bit bluer. Very interesting. Definitely cooler than this, I think. Um, Tanzanite Sky. This bit's still drying, but oh man, it has some crazy sheen to it. That's kind of nice. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. A little bit. The color's a little bit actually closer, uh, pretty close to. A little bit close to Tasmania purple line. That's neat. And then I guess this one's really an outlier. This one, Toto and Limbs, still drying a little bit, but you can see it's like a lighter purple. And it looks like it has, it has some like blue multi shading going on. I I like them all, and I don't think I have a a real preference toward any of them. What do y'all think? I don't think you can make YouTube polls, but Anyways, uh, yeah, give me your thoughts, um, give me your recommendations, and 
I will see you in the next one uh, very, very soon. All right. Bye, everybody.